guys, so today I'm here to do a wrap up for the month of January and February because I don't read enough books to warrant to wrap up a month. Does anyone love my shirt? Like I know I actually need to get into the point of the video, but like I got this from the Six Musical because it's on the arm there, but I love it. Even though I could not wear this out in public because people would give me weird looks like, why do you have a shirt that has beheaded and dead and shit on it? But I love it. Also, I actually want to just say a quick hi to all of my new subscribers because I've gotten like 40 in the last month and that is really exciting to me. And the reason why there's actually a lot of new people here is G from Book Roast put me in her last video and I am beyond shocked about it. It was for her recent TBR video and one of her prompts is that she looks at someone's video and picks a book from what they've mentioned and because I was one of the first people to do my magical gear up readathon, she clicked on my video and she has 85,000 subscribers so that's like a lot of people that have seen my face and I've gotten new subscribers from it and it's so exciting like I can't believe I have new people here like at this point in time my channel has 656 subscribers and earlier in the month I was at 620 so I am so beyond happy that this has happened like it just was so shocking like I didn't know what was going on and then my friend Paige messaged and she's like oh my god and I was like oh my god so like it's, it's really it's really crazy I probably have spent a lot of time talking about this and I should talk about the books I've read because I have six books to wrap up because I literally seem to only be able to read three books a month and in March I have a TBR of eight books so I'm a disappointed either myself or the people that I'm buddy reading with so Please don't hate me because I'm like really trying to like get anything done and I'm still reading House of Sky and Breath because it's 800 pages. That could have been two books. But I'm enjoying it. I still have like 250 pages to go. So yeah, I'm just, I just don't see myself getting anything done. But I am also really excited because I do want to try and do the Gear Up Readathon in that week. We'll see how I go, but let's get into the books I've read. I'm excited for this video. So the first book I finished was Aurora's Ending by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. And I say it's a finished book because I only had like 100 pages left of it that I actually finished in 2022. So I was trying to get this in my 2021 wrap up and it just didn't happen. But I am happy that I did finish the trilogy and it didn't take me forever to finish it. But Aurora Burning had such a good ending to then come into this book, which just really kind of fills it out for me. I didn't like that every character was a part and there was all these different storylines. Like the point of the storylines I really enjoyed, but the individual stuff that people were doing, I was kind of just like, mm. and it ended with a really annoying trope that I don't like and it was also too easy. I had such high hopes for this, but Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff do write very easy, attainable endings where everything's okay. So I should have known that that was gonna happen, but I had hope that some bad was gonna go down and didn't. Except there was a bad thing, but like, it ended up being okay, but. And it's just annoying because I was so excited for this book and it disappointed me, which makes me really sad about it. But I am glad I finished the trilogy and I have a series finished for this year at least, so that's a good thing. Then I picked up The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas, and I have to say, I actually did not like this book for the first 200 pages. It seemed so pretentious and they were all up themselves. And I think that Lena is actually a very selfish person and very rude a lot of the time, and she could get out of her dramas by just being a normal person instead of just making it so much harder. And Aaron was actually really annoying too because he's just weird. Like, I love him now, but at the start, he's just so, like, robotic. And, like, he always looks at everything that she does with such disdain and alarm. Like, that's literally everything. It's like Aaron just goes, ugh, at everything. It's my impression of him. So it was hard, okay? It was hard. And it took a while to get into the point of the fake dating and the story. And I was like, this book is 500 pages. It doesn't need to be that long and it just was so drawn out but once we actually got to Spain I was so obsessed. Lena wasn't bothering anymore, Aaron became more of a human being and his reasons for things are like you know they have they always do that where they're like oh my god they're so mean to me and I hate them and this is the reason why and then it was always a misunderstanding and then his reason is a misunderstanding so that's it's what books do but I feel like his was like understandable in a sense like most books don't do a good job of it but as I said I really started to appreciate him at the end like he's a good boyfriend and I would put him up there with Adam from the love hypothesis and I did give this book four stars so know that I do like this book I really enjoyed it, but it just had a very rocky start 
that really pissed me off. And the last book, oh God, that just got me right in the boob. My God, okay. The last book I read was Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. So I've caught up with everything that she's published now. And I actually listened to this one on audiobook throughout the month. I really enjoyed it. Like, it's a very simple story in a sense. Like, I feel like so many more fantasy books have so many more elements to them. And I feel like this was just a lot of walking around and arguing with each other. And to be honest, people talk about how great the sister relationship in this book is. But I think her sister's actually kind of a bitch. She just gave Ziva so much shit. And it's like, she has social anxiety. And then again, I will say, like, even though it was really good to have that representation, there was a lot of repetition about it. Like, she was always talking about how everything is so hard and everything, she can't do it. And I just think, especially, like, from the listening experience, it was just kind of hard to have to sit through which is obviously how people do feel when they talk to her so i feel like i was kind of being one of those annoying people but like i really like that there is this representation i get social anxiety too but she just shuts down and sometimes it's just like you know just get out of there girl like just, just get out like don't even try just just leave it's all g and then tomorrow is just being bitchy but I loved the boys. They were good characters. And it is going to be interesting to see actually what happens in the next book. Because what this book is set up for has been really good. But then again, I don't know. Because it's a duology, sometimes things just don't go well. And I really do like Trisha Levenseller's writing. But I would say this is probably like the weakest one she's written in my opinion. But I do have hopes for the next book. And coming into January, I literally read nothing that was like real Valentine's Day-y. Like I read one contemporary and all the colours that I have in my reading journal are not romantic, okay? They are like, look at this. This is just like all, all yellows and blues and you know, like not not romance. Like I put the effort into these love hearts and it's it's not great. But the first book I read was Vestantine by Margaret Rogerson. And I actually, again, plan to finish this in January, but I find this book to be very boring and I've liked her other stories and people just said this was the best one and I just think it was so boring and it took into like freaking page 300 to actually understand what the point of the story was because I didn't know where it was going she just had this demon in her that just talked to her and was really angry the reverend is the best thing about this book because he's just so mad all the time because he hasn't talked to anyone for so long and he actually really likes her even though he has to act like he doesn't like her he's just so happy to finally have company after being stuck in that thing for so long but it just you know like there's a lot going on in the story i feel like it was just trying to push too many ideas at once and I was just confused and I think there's meant to be another book and I don't even know if I want to read it. There's no talk about when it's going to be published or when it's happening but I just... Oh god, this story was just so slow and that's really the point. It was meant to be a slow story but like... I was so bored. And I do truly like the last hundred pages because that's when the action picked up. But the slow list just got to me so bad. Next, I read Well Match by Jen DeLuca. And you know, this is the only book I've given five stars to this year. Everything else has been a four or a three because I've been just very disappointed with my reading so far this year. But I love this world and this story. And Mitch and April were such great characters. And it's so funny to me because I never would have put them together. Especially because Mitch is nine years younger than her. And I don't know why, like females being older than the male like thing weirds me out i really love hypothesis and there's an eight year age gap and it's a little like oh but also it's fine because he's older but she's 40 and he's 31 and she's already had a full-blown kid so it's actually really interesting too because most of the books i read about the main characters don't have children so that was really cool to actually read from the perspective of a mum. i feel like i'm branching out with my reading because most characters I read like are in the 20s sometimes they can be early 30s like I've read a book where someone was 37 and then they dated a 31 year old so like again the female was older but like it was really interesting to have that and I also loved seeing all the other characters in the story like the first book is still always going to be my favorite because Emily and Simon are so cute but there was more renfairness and more excitement and there's going to be another book well traveled which is a character that got introduced in this book which is always fun too because I always sit there being like "Ooh, how are they going to like have the story progress and now it's like when they introduce new people to have the books about it's always so much fun but definitely an enjoyable read and I'm so excited I finally got to it. And the last book I read was The Under Honeymooners by Christina Lauren and I listened to this on audio. I am really not doing great with my audiobook listening and they've just announced like last month that they're going to increase it by five dollars. So that's like five dollars British. So how much like am I going to be spending over twenty dollars to listen to one book a month? But I love my audiobook so I don't want to give it up but it was so much better when it was like fourteen dollars a month and like 
I just don't drive as much as I used to and I'm not really listening or doing things around to like make me listen. So I don't want to give it up because it does get me reading more and music can be boring sometimes but it's just getting expensive. But I have decided that I'm trying to get through a bit of Christina Lauren's works and stuff. Because the only other one I did listen to before was my favourite Half Night Stand. So then I read In a Holidays and now I've read this one. But I heard so much hype for this book and I have to say I was a bit disappointed in it because some of the storylines just weren't my favourite. Especially when no one believed the main character when she knew her shit. That was annoying. But I also think the reason why Ethan was such a dick to her is really stupid, but also the way that she just never believed him. So, like, there was a lot of miscommunication in this book, and as I said with the Spanish love deception, same situation, this one didn't do it as well. But the relationship that they did form in Maui was really solid and really adorable, and I really enjoyed the different things they did. Like, it was really funny when there was the bit about the paintball, when they were, like, shooting little kids because they were being utter dickheads. So that was funny. But I definitely think that I have to, like, you know, just not think about some of the things that really irritated me, because I still gave it four stars, because I still got a lot of enjoyment from it. But it also took me freaking forever to finish listening to it. But I am glad that I've read a couple more. But I think I'm going to take a break from Christina Lauren for a while. Because there's a few audiobooks that have only just come out recently. Or one that I've had on my list for a really long time. That I've just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. So I will take a break from their works. And then maybe come back like in a couple of months when... I don't know what else I want to read. It's such a small pile and it's so sad to me that this is two months of reading. This used to be one and that was a bad reading month. Like, I am never not going to be mad about this because I have how many on the shelves and I can't, I can't, you know, I can't do it. But, oh, like, I'm hoping to keep reading awesome books. Like, they're all being very average. Like, I want to read some really exceptional books and I just shook the camera a whole lot, which I'm sorry about. Hey guys, that is all for my wrap up today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I found that these videos are actually quite smaller now and I find it maybe easier that I don't have to film one a month, but it's more like if I can read five books in a month, I will film an individual wrap up. But if it's less than that, it's gonna get bulked in together. Like some wrap ups have three months in them. That's when I'm really, really slumpy though. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.